after I uh, had uh, worked on this for several years, I wrote to J.M. Whitaker, who with Robert Rankin were the two people who, who, were, who managed to get these papers into the Trinity College Library, and Whitaker wrote back to me as follows. When the Royal Society asked me to write G.N. Watson's obituary memoir, I wrote to his widow to ask if I could examine his papers. She kindly invited me to lunch, and afterwards, his son took me upstairs to see them. They covered the floor to a fair, of a fair-sized room to a depth of about a foot, all jumbled together and were to be incinerated in a few days. One could only make lucky dips, and as Watson never threw any way, anything away, the result might be a sheet of mathematics, but more probably a receipted bill or a draft of his income tax return for 1923. <laughs> By an extraordinary stroke of luck, one of my dips brought up the Ramanujan material, which Hardy must have passed on to him when he proposed to edit the earlier notebooks. So the, the, this notebook came within a hair's breadth of uh, being burned in the flames of, of the, from the estate of G.N. Watson, but fortunately, especially fortunately for me, it was not.